Today we have a monumental event to discuss. The biggest solar storm in 20 years has just hit Earth, and its effects are being felt worldwide. Stay tuned as we dive into what happened, why it matters, and how it impacts us all. Before we get into the details of this massive solar storm, let's first understand what a solar storm is. Solar storms are disturbances in space weather caused by the sun's activity. They include phenomena like solar flares, coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, and geomagnetic storms. Solar storms are primarily driven by changes and disturbances in the sun's magnetic field, often causing coronal mass ejections, CMEs, and associated solar flares that accelerate charged particles in the solar atmosphere. Solar flares are sudden and powerful bursts of radiation resulting from the release of magnetic energy stored in the sun's atmosphere. These flares emit a broad spectrum of radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, which can reach Earth and impact its upper atmosphere. On the other hand, CMEs are huge clouds of solar plasma and magnetic field ejected from the sun's corona. When a CME is directed towards Earth, it travels through space and can interact with Earth's magnetic field. Solar flares can reach Earth within minutes, while CMEs can take several days to arrive, depending on their speed. When these solar emissions interact with Earth's atmosphere, they can cause it to emit light, creating phenomena such as auroras. These storms can disrupt satellite operations, GPS navigation and radio communications, and can even damage power grids. Over the past few days, a group of sunspots named AR3364 has grown significantly on the surface of the sun. Basically, the sunspot of the areas appear dark on the surface of the sun. Sunspots appear dark because they are cooler than the surrounding areas of the sun's surface. Typically, sunspots are about the size of Earth, but AR3364 has grown abnormally large, reaching a diameter 15 times greater than that of Earth, approximately 200,000 kilometers, and it's currently about the same size as the sunspot linked to the Carrington event of 1859, the most powerful magnetic storm ever recorded on the Earth. On May 8th, astronomers observed a solar active region AR3364, which produced several significant solar flares and launched multiple coronal mass ejections towards Earth. By May 10th, these CMEs reached Earth, imitating most powerful geomagnetic storm since the Halloween solar storm of October 2003. On May 8th, the active region produced an X1 point row class flare and several M class flares. On May 9th, it produced even stronger flares, including X2.25 and X1.12 class flares, each with a full halo CME. The activity peaked on May 11th with an X5.4, 5.7 class flare. The most powerful flare on May 14th an X8.7 class flare caused level R3 strong radio blackouts. Scientists classify solar flares based on their X-ray brightness using the following categories, A, B, C, M, and X. The categories range from smallest to largest, with A being the smallest and X being the largest. Class A and B solar storm is typically too small to cause significant harm to Earth. A Class C solar storm may result in a few noticeable consequences on Earth, such as minor disruptions to radio communications. An M-class solar storm can cause radio blackouts that affect Earth's polar regions. An X-class solar storm, the most severe category, can trigger planet-wide radio blackouts and long-lasting radiation storms. This solar storm had widespread effects. Auroras were visible across the globe, from Japan and northern India to China, and as far south as Cyprus, Portugal and Spain in Europe. In North America, the auroras were seen as far south as the Florida Keys and the Yucatan Peninsula. The storm also affected satellite operation. The GOES-16 satellite stopped transmitting data twice, and Starlink's fleet experienced degraded service but remained operational. The Sun operates on an 11-year solar cycle, and we're currently in solar cycle 25, peaking around 2024-2025. This cycle's heightened activity is why we're experiencing such intense solar events. Understanding solar cycles helps us predict and prepare for these storms. Continuous monitoring is key to mitigating their impact. Thank you for joining us on Cosmic Insights. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest in space and science.